Hello, this is Warren Queen with your spiritual reading. And today is Monday. The first card I pulled is the Six of Swords. This shows you moving be moving on, taking the next step in life, trying to go somewhere better. Maybe you felt judged in where you was, and this is why you tried to go somewhere better. I pull caring mother. She is a helpmate to you. She's probably giving you good advice. I pull the nurture card. Get out, meditate in nature. This is, you know, how you pick up your creativity. Abundance, cherish, nourish. Get out of nature and nurture yourself. I pull the strength card. This is personal power, courage, self-control. You might have had a little misfortune. Don't let that stop you. I pull the person in charge. Someone close to you might want to take charge in order to help you. Confront. You need to confront your fears. Confront, you know, to where you get clarity, gain courage, um, get answers to questions. I pull the three of swords, separation, loss, breakup, heartbreak. Pull the fortune card. It's kind of like she's standing on top of the world, shaking it out. It's not the end of the world. She's shaking out abundance over you. Depot in charge. Someone wants to run your life for you. Careful not to let yourself get out of control. Listen. Listen to your, your higher self. Source. See, hear, sense. Tune into your intuition and the knowing. Ten of Wands. You're still feeling way down. Carrying a burden. This might be something to do with your home. I pull desperate time. You haven't prepared for the future. Have you been lazy? And the solar plexus card. Solar plexus. This is where the willpower, self-esteem, and confidence comes from. When you want to strengthen the chakra, use breathing exercises. I pull the freedom card. And the freedom card, free your spirit, take control of your life now. I am moving forward in the direction I choose, bringing me closer to achieving my goals and divine life purpose. <coughs> I put the news card. 
Measures from within, advice from others, chance encounters, truth, insight, signals, wisdom, blessings, and harmony. This card also represents the death card, change at end of cycles. And Isis has this to say. This is tells me of potency. Sacred tools and objects can become an extension of your energy field, focusing your power and intention, helping you heal the split between spirit and matter, bringing physical matter more deeply into the light and life. You are encouraged to work with sacred materials in a conscious way to help your own healing and enjoyment of material world as a part of your spiritual practice. Okay, and that is your reading for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.